Let's get reaction now from Mahwe's party, COPE, with their national spokesperson, Dennis Bloom, who joins us virtually. Uh, Dennis, thank you so much for your time. Please accept our deepest sympathies at the loss of your colleague, and I'm sure you'll say, brother, your thoughts this morning on receiving the news. Uh, good morning, uh, and good morning to the viewers. Uh, now, let me correct uh, one thing. Uh, COPE was not... Uh, Tate, Comrade Tate, was not a member of the Congress of the People. He was my colleague. <coughs> Sorry, he was my colleague. He was my comrade in arms, uh, Comrade Tate Mahwe. Uh, we want to pass our heartfelt condolences uh, to his family, his friends, uh, his uh, political party, uh, the ANC. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Comrade Tate, I know Comrade Tate for many, many, many years. I have worked with Comrade Tate in the struggle in the free state. That is one person that I can uh, uh, vouch to say that he was part and parcel of our liberation struggle. He went to jail. I attended his, uh, his trial uh, in Velkom when he was uh, charged with feathering the aims of a band organization, the ANC. Uh, Comrade Tate was not a, a coward. He was one who was very firm on his belief that the freedom of the people comes first. That is why we are saying as the Congress of the People that uh, we are really very shocked uh, about... Uh, uh, his, his, his sudden passing, uh, and uh, it's a great, very, very, very huge, massive loss uh, to the country, uh, to the education uh, department we, and field. And this man was a real servant of the people. Let's talk about um, his passion for education. He himself was a man that was highly qualified in various fields. Um, as we just said there, he's led the province to leading matric results over the last few years. Can you tell us a bit about what drove his passion in this sector? Comrade Tate have always said, if we want true liberation in this country, we must educate our people. That is what comrade, uh, drove Comrade Tate uh, in the education field. He was very passionate. Even in prison, Comrade Tate will always read and read and read. Uh, comrade Tate was very passionate about education. And that is uh, nothing else but the truth that you must first educate the people to truly liberate them. Without education, people will make many mistakes, but if they are educated, and they will be empowered uh, to run this country. That is what motivated uh, Comrade Tate so much uh, in the, he, he had sleepless nights. This man was a, a servant of the people. Mm. I am very much sure that uh, he met this accident coming from a, 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 an appointment uh, with educational uh, issues. That's why it's so painful that we have lost such a hard worker, mm. a, 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 a workaholic. This man was not scared. Uh, of doing his work. And I suppose, um, uh, Dennis, at this time when there's always so much focus on the so-called bad apples that are in administration, that are in the political realm, this is a loss that will be felt very much so in a province that follows so, that, <coughs> that, that has so many challenges that it's battling on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, it's very, very sad. It's very painful that such people must leave uh, this uh, uh, country when we face with such a lot of problems, a person like Tate, who was a builder, who was there uh, to see to it that our struggle, the, the values of our struggle must, must still be there. He, I know that Comrade Pe uh, uh, Tate 
was very pained to see uh, these things happening uh, in the free state, in the whole of the country. I can tell you that Comrade Tate was a person who was not happy uh, when all these things uh, were happening uh, in the ANC. He was, he, was, he, was, he was always saying that this is not what we have struggled for. for. We have struggled, firstly, to, to free the people of South Africa and then to unite the people of South Africa. But now we see that people are fighting for positions. This was a humble man. This man never fought for any position uh, in the ANC uh, and in the Free State. He was always, always willing to serve and not there for positions. That's why I will always respect Comrade Tate Mahwe. He was not a position monger. He was a real, true servant of the people. He wanted to educate the country. That was his main mission in life. We're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts uh, this morning. Spokesperson for COPE, Dennis Bloom, uh, joining us virtually.